Jumping into our second assignment for computer animation, we're going to get into uh, animating a stick man jumping over a gap or a bunch of cliffs. And so mainly what we're going to really be reviewing is the timeline. Okay, so trying to work with the timeline in uh, Adobe Animate and um, creating what's called a frame-by-frame -frame animation. So this is a frame-by-frame -frame animation of a stick man jumping over the gap balancing and then successfully landing his jump at the end showing how excited he is okay so each frame of this or also known as a keyframe is a, a slightly different drawing okay so what we're gonna do is going over a couple things in our timeline okay so if we start a new project um, a couple of keys we are going to want to learn about on our keyboard okay and those are the F keys along the top row um, those can be used for um, a lot of different things in Flash and here are a few of them. So F5 is going to be inserting a frame so feel free to play around with that. So I'm pressing F5 on my keyboard right now you can see it's adding blank frames. Okay. Now if I go to plus F6 it's inserting these frames with black dots and what those are called are keyframes. Okay. So now if we um, go over to 7 F7 and we start pressing it now those are blank keyframes. Okay, so keyframes are frames that contain some kind of drawing, um, and then blank keyframes are ones that are keyframe, but they don't have anything on them. So um, I could turn this into a blank keyframe by deleting what's on that. So now all of a sudden this frame that I was on uh, is no longer a black filled keyframe, right? So I'm deleting um, what's on all of these keyframes and turning them into blank ones essentially. Um, so what we're going to do is we can go ahead and we want to click on the last one that you created there and click back on the first one while holding down the shift key. So you hold the shift key and then click this uh, second frame and then we'll just right click in the middle of that bar and we'll go remove frames. So that will just kind of bring it back to uh, to normal before we, we started playing around there. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is on this very first frame, um, we are going to actually create two layers. We're going to need two layers for this. Um, layer one can be our, uh, our ground, and layer two will be our uh, stick man. Okay, so uh, the ground layer can be as simple as taking kind of your paintbrush or your pen tool, whichever uh, works best for you. Um, pick a color that is a bit earthy. Oh, I think I still have my text uh, clicked. So what I need to do is unclick my text and keep that there just because it's a good reminder, um, but it did kind of get in the way there. So I was taking my brush tool and I need a color that is kind of earthy because these are kind of like cliffs or mountains. So I'm going to take kind of like this gray color. Um, this work for now and I'm going to draw a couple of lines. That is super thin and hard to see. So what I'm going to have to do is change my brush size, right? So brush size needs to be, I don't know, maybe 9 or 10. Um, and we will take, I'm going to just take the normal round brush for this. Okay, so that seems like it should make a line that's much better. And it's okay to go off the stage, that will not appear in your animation. So, kind of one rocky cliff there. Um, and smoothing is up at 80, so it did smooth that out a good amount, but I don't really mind uh, too much. Okay, so we've got our two sides of the cliff. Um, we can get into maybe making some more detail in here if we really want to. Um, I'll leave that up to you um, and trying to get into uh, the stick man animating part, which is the most important, really. But um, so, okay, so we want this ground to stay around in our animation. So, something we actually have to do because, oh no, actually, as I click over here, uh, it stays with us. So, we'll see if it stays with us. You might have to add frames to that actually. Uh, after we start drawing our stick man. So stick man we can draw with a couple different tools. We can either draw him with the pen tool or the brush tool. Um, I actually think the brush tool is a little bit easier for this particular uh, task. So I'm going to turn this down again because I want this line to be pretty thin and I'm going to draw a stick man. So a simple round head, a body, two legs, and two arms. 
All right, and that is stick man on frame one. So then what I want to do on frame two is I want to insert a blank keyframe. So I'm going to press F7. Okay, so now what we should see is a blank circle next to a solid one. So I have my stick man on this one, no stick man on the second one. Okay, and then a tool we are going to use so that we can see where our previous skin, stick man was is called the onion skin tool. So we're going to click on that tool right there. What we can notice we can see is our stick man, but he's a light blue color. And you can see that this is telling us how many frames we can actually see. So what I want to do now, you see your orange highlight is on your second frame. I want to draw a stick man slightly over to the left. Okay, so now he's going to be turned. Uh, maybe it'll have kind of like one leg up starting to run. All right, maybe one arm up, one arm down. And then I will press F7 again. F7 creates a blank keyframe, right? So I want this to be a blank keyframe. If I clicked F6, that would create a new keyframe and keep the same stick man on it. So you would have to delete them and then draw a new one and just makes it extra step that you don't really want to do right now. So. F7 is what we want for this particular step. Again, we're going to make another stick figure head a little bit more to the right. Again, maybe this back leg ends up bent now. Front leg ends up up. Arms going crazy. All right, once we finish him, we're going to press F7 again. And that's going to move our timeline over automatically. So you're controlling your keyboard or your timeline with your keyboard, right? All right, so now we got him kind of in a running uh, stance here. Maybe I'll add just like a little more foot to the back foot there and then press F7 when I'm done. Okay, so now we're going along. He's getting close to the gap now, so I feel like he should probably be lifting his foot again for takeoff here. Um, and maybe we'll go with both arms behind him now as he starts to lunge and I'll press F7 again and then in this next frame he will have taken off from the ground okay so we have Stickman is airborne okay um, F7 again and now we are gonna draw Stickman a little bit further over he's over the gap now He's committed to the jump. We'll see how far he makes it. All right, F7 again. Now he's kind of probably getting close to the middle. He's got a good trajectory. He is leaning into it now. He's got the arms back, legs back. F7 again on your keyboard. All right, now he's over the gap big time. The other side is in sight. He's gone pretty much horizontal now. Arms are behind him for aerodynamic purposes. F7 again. Now he's starting to get over. Maybe bring his legs back down. Maybe one arm is coming out to get balance. F7 again. Oh, I was just thinking actually it would be funny if I uh, I had a flip going in the other one, but I'm just going to keep going forward with this one. F7 again now. He's coming back down. Okay, legs are touching the ground. Actually, you know what? Maybe I want just one leg touching the ground. So what I can do is I can take my arrow tool. I can select this part of the brush, or I can make kind of like a square with my arrow tool and I can delete that part. I want to draw that leg again, but kind of like off the side there. And the other tool we can use to kind of patch things up is the eraser tool, um, and that we can erase that little bit there. Okay, so now what we can see is if we kind of click and scrub our timeline, we can see him jumping over the gap and making it successfully. Um, you can uh, once you're finished, turn off the onion skin tool so you can really see uh, your animation for what it is. And we can see that I have a successful stick man running and jumping over the gap. So feel free to add any other things, hop in out of your gap. Um, you know, if you want to make him do a flip or, or a fancy landing, uh, that is perfectly up to you. 
Um, but that is our introduction to the timeline and frame-by-frame -frame animation for Stickman. I uh, wish you lots of luck with this.